I recently got to do a presentation on paper crafting at the Blender conference in LA. One of the things that came up in that presentation was how to reduce distortion in a model to prepare it for paper crafting. If we go over to our overlays, we can see under mesh analysis, distortion, and we get this colored display showing us how distorted the polygons are because they're not coplanar. Blender does have a built-in mesh cleanup make planar faces operation here. And if we select all these first, we'll do that again, clean up, make planar faces. The trouble with this is that even though we can increase the number of iterations, something's kind of going wrong. These polygons never actually flatten out no matter how many iterations we do. And I believe the issue is that it's not updating the normal of the polygons between iterations. So this is maybe act actually a bug with this operator. My solution for this was to write a custom script, and now I've upgraded that script to a proper add-on so you guys can use that at home. Let's go to my flatten each face repository on GitHub. Go to the code, download zip, and that is going to download the repository in a zip file configuration. And back in Blender, we're going to go to Edit, Preferences, go to our add-on section, Install, navigate to where you downloaded that zip, select it, Install Add-on. This will now show up as Flatten Each Face. Let's turn that on. And I've actually put it into the same menu option, so Mesh, Clean Up, Flatten Each Face. And this is nearly identical, except that it fixes the problem where it's not updating normals between iterations. And then we can increase the number of iterations there. Depending on how messed up your polygons are, it's going to take more or fewer iterations. And that's what we got. You can also limit it by selection so that it only happens to the selected polygons. So we'll grab all those and mesh, clean up, flatten each face and turn on selected only, and it'll only flatten the selected faces. Keep in mind that fundamentally the way this works is that every bit that we flatten one face, the faces next to it are going to get a little bit more distorted because we're pulling those vertices out of their original positions. So as we increase our iterations, we're going back over the polygons to improve over and over again iteratively. And if we select the whole mesh, mesh, clean up, flatten each face, we just got all of them all at once. You will get some change to the shape of your model in doing this. That's unavoidable because flattening the polygons is changing the shape. But hopefully a little bit of a balance between doing some of that and then maybe a little bit of cleanup where you add in some edge loops or something like that. And then coming back in, mesh, clean up, flatten each face. It'll kind of get you back to where you are iteratively. And that will get you closer to a result that's prepared for paper crafting.